Okay, so before I start, I do want to shout out to the YouTube channel, Pies and Tacos. Um, it is her macaron um, recipe that I'll be using. Who baked that? So this is the fourth time I'll be making macarons. This is actually the third time, sorry. Um, the last two times, complete fail. Horrible. They, when I baked them, they just expanded and it was more of like a just nothing <laughs> basically it got it, it got stuck to my parchment paper so um the, the flavors were still there but um i don't the macaron just didn't come out so this this is my third time so i'm hoping they're gonna come out perfect okay so how about we start on those macarons so in my bowl i'm going to start by sift, sifting one cup of almond flour and one cup of powdered sugar. I love the yogurt things you said. I can't wait to eat my face. Okay, so there it is. And I'm just going to set this aside and start on my wet ingredients. So in my mixer, I'm going to add two thirds cup of aquafaba. And I'm going to start mixing it at medium temp at medium speed, sorry. Okay, so to this I'm gonna add quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar, sorry. I always say tartar, tartar, sorry. <laughs> okay, and now I'm slowly going to start adding my quarter cup of sugar. I'm not going to lie, I am so nervous. I just don't want to mess this up. <laughs> okay, so you want to end up with peaks that stand straight. So kind of like this one. I almost feel like I should mix it for a few more minutes. I'm going to mix it just for a few more minutes. For a few more minutes just to be safe. So far, the aquafaba, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. The peaks are there. I just want to be safe and I'm just going to let it mix for a few more minutes. That's beautiful. That looks good. That looks pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and fold in my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. And you'll know when you're done folding in when it's running down your spoon. Ooh, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> and I worked out, you guys. Oh my God. How in the heck? See, I'm not used to making macarons. Mm. It's tasty. You guys, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like I, when the aquafaba was mixing and it was r looking like water and runny, I was scared. I was like, um, should I maybe add some xanthan gum or something? But it started really foaming up, like. Um, forming into that little cloud but like I said I really hope these come out okay so it looks like it's pretty runny you want to end up with it you want it to run off your whatever wooden spoon you're using spatula or whatever it looks it even looks like 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 what a macaron looks like so I'm confident. I'm really, really confident that these are going to come out. Or else I'm never trying to get <laughs> Okay, so I'm only going to do a little bit just to try it out. And I don't have that fancy tray with the little circles on it. So I'm just going to wing it, honestly. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try it.
Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of any air bubbles. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I am a little nervous. I'm, my confidence level is probably like at a 45 right now. I don't know how good these are gonna come out, but I'm hoping for the best still. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these sit for 30 minutes just so they can dry and set. So let's hope, guys. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. As you can see, that's what they look like. I am a little worried about a few, like this one right here, and then this little one over here. They're, they look like blobs. But some look really good, like these three right here. But let's just hope that they come out. So I'm gonna bake these at 285 degrees for 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna check them while they bake. So they're in the oven, so let's just hope that they come out. I'm, there's a few in there that I'm hoping will come out. I know there's gonna be a few that aren't just because of the way they look before I put them in the oven, but there's, but the others, those three look good. So I'm hoping that at least I get at least three macarons. <laughs> Hey guys, so today my outfit, I'm wearing my cool little car hat orange beanie that I got a few weeks ago. As you can see, I love it. I love wearing it. I wear it a lot in a lot of my videos. I'm also wearing this really cool sweater from H&M that I got like six years ago. I remembered I ordered, ordered it online and when I, it's supposed to be oversized, but at the time, I was a lot smaller. I, my shoulders were a lot smaller, it was a lot smaller. So it fit me really not the best. So I never wore it, never wore it. I think I tried getting rid of it so many times to Plato's Closet, um, Buffalo Exchange, no one, no one would ever take it. And then I think I even tried um, tie-dyeing it with Clorox, I tried even like adding Clorox to it to like make it all funky and nothing, look at it. It looks like the day I bought it. I'm also wearing my favorite Carhartt, as you can see. Love wearing these with my little belt that I made myself with a, a shoelace. You know, very trendy, very cool. But I love these pants. I got these at the Goodwill Bins um, here in Colorado and Denver. Um, but look cool they are. They're Carhartt, as you can see. But I love them. And then I'm wearing my Adidas slides. That's my outfit today that I'm baking in. So they look good so far. They've only been in the oven for three minutes, so. Okay, so as you can see, there's still about eight minutes left. And honestly, these aren't gonna come out. So I'm just gonna take them out of the oven. They, they, I don't know what happened, you guys. They completely <laughs> deflated and just turned into what looks like, I don't even know, like a, a rice cake or something. So those did not come out. I don't know what I did wrong. The same thing that always happens. They just deflate it in the oven and just kaplooted. So, so yeah, that's my third attempt at making macarons. And once again, they didn't come out, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep trying. Um, I just need to practice, I guess. <laughs> These are supposed to be my macarons, you guys. Well, that sucks about the macarons. I'm really sad because I can't even, I didn't even get to taste anything. But yeah, um, other than that, I really wish those macarons would have came out, but I'm going to try again. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.